Is that a Pokemon? Ha! <laughs> nah, it's just me. Welcome to Jacuzzi Time with Mikey Jacuzzi. I'm living life back on top of the world. Got some great news for everybody. I'm, uh, I've taken a position with an engineering firm out in out near St. Louis. Um, it's actually in Illinois, but it's like right on the border to St. Louis. I'll be a project manager there, um, in charge of some pipelines. And so, I finally, uh, finally got my job. Uh, this is an in-house position, so it's not contractor pay, um, but it's it's still good money, good benefits, all that good stuff. So. I'm happy. I'm just uh, I'm waiting on the the drug test paperwork and the motor motor uh, <laughs> motor vehicle record paperwork, so I can get that stuff done. And as soon as I get that done, and once I pass it, I'll have the job officially. So I will be officially moving to the St. Louis area here soon. I'm not real sure yet how long I'll uh, stay in a hotel, but um, the company's going to put me up in a, in a hotel for now until I find a place. And my boss said, you know, don't worry about looking right away. So that's a good thing. And this this uh, this side deal that I was working on finally finally happened as well. Although I I got cheated big time right there on that deal. I got, but at least I got something out of it. But enough to survive and you know fund fund my move and everything else when I uh, find a place out in St. Louis. I've been looking already on uh, Zillow and found a couple of nice places. I, I want to get like like a condo or a townhouse, something that also has a pool, you know, because I just got so used to the pool at the beach that I just want to lay out and, and tan and swim in the pool whenever I'm not working. So yeah, that's Mikey Zacuzzi's exciting news. I'm finally back in the working world. You know, it's been way too long, way too long. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm working underneath um, one of the guys that I used to work with before um, up in West Virginia when I was doing pipeline up around here. Um, so got a good working relationship with him and everything. So that'll be good. It's probably a little bit more responsibility than what I'm used to handling just because I'll be in charge of like survey and different aspects that you know I, I was only in charge of land before and now I'm in charge of the whole project pretty much so it's gonna be a great great resume booster um, great experience um, the benefits are seem really nice um, it's an employee-owned company so every year you get a bonus on the profits that the company makes so that would be nice won't be the money that I'm used to but I can survive big time <laughs> because I'm living simple now you know it's I gave up all the craziness, you know, even when I went down to the beach, I, I didn't really spend any money, you know, um, I think the most money I spent on the beach trip was my beer, <laughs> and I brought, I took 108 beers down, well, all together I had, my uncles drank a few, because I was trying to get rid of as many as I could, so I didn't have to bring any back, but I still brought like 55 cans of beer home, so, yeah, I only had like probably 50 cans of beer in a week, so didn't drink too much. I don't really care to drink too much, honestly, but it was fun, you know, it was fun being there. And, uh, you know, the, my family is just the, the best family in the world, 
you know, here we go again with that thing. <laughs> but I, I could never say it enough. It's like, you know, to have the support, to have the love. You know, when I found out that I was going to get the job, I was already at the beach, but I couldn't really announce it until everything was official. So, you know, just the hugs, the love that I felt while I was down there. I mean, that last day, well, that, that last full day that, that we were down there, I, I couldn't hold back the tears. I was just so emotional that day. It was like, I just felt my dad shining down on me and my grandparents and my grandma and, you know, my aunts and uncles that went before me and just, you know, it really, really, really is awesome. So, if my, any of my family's watching, I love you guys so much. I, I love everybody. I love everybody in the world, but I especially love my family. <laughs> and, and, I don't know, I'm just, I am so grateful and so blessed, you know. So they, they were supposed to overnight that paperwork. I signed my official letter on Tuesday. Today's Friday, and I still haven't got the drug test paperwork. Um, I thought they were going to overnight it on Wednesday, and I didn't get it yesterday. So I uh, messaged my buddy, and he said uh, they were going to send it out yesterday. So hopefully I'll get it today, but it's, you know, it's going on 2 o'clock, and it's still not here yet. Because I really want to get at least the drug test done now so I can party tonight <laughs> because we're having a little uh, we're having a little going away party slash pre-beach next year trip um, to get everybody together and uh, you know talk about next year and you know basically probably get to see the la some of my family for the last time tonight until I don't know where I'm really not sure how often I'm going to be coming back, but like, I'm planning on leaving for Stephanie's on Monday, and I guess I'll just start the following Monday. That way I can spend about, you know, five or six days down there with her, and um, I'm just, I, I gotta get this stuff submitted, or at least done, so I can forget about everything and just go, you know, I've got everything packed, I've got clothes, you know, obviously I'm going to keep my apartment here, and so I have a place to stay when I come back, and uh, I don't know, I mean, we'll see how things go after I get moved out there completely, but, you know, for now i just got bins of clothes with labels on them, you know, socks, shorts, you know, because I'll be living out of my truck in the hotel for the next probably at least two months I would say before I, I really find a place. <clears throat> so I am happy. I am I mean I don't know who's watching over me, but God love them. And I love them so much for everything. I love you guys for all your support and kind words and everything, you know. Mikey Jacuzzi's back. Uh, big relief. I mean, I thought, you know, like once I got back from this beach trip, I had to I had to have a job. And then I got news that that deal went through that I was working on. And then I got the job. I mean, everything's really falling into place right now. So, I definitely feel blessed right now. So I just thought I wanted to, you know, get on here and share the news with everybody. Um, that way all the haters out there can go fuck themselves. <laughs> you know, everybody that talked crap about me not working and, you know, yeah. So, it wasn't my choice. I looked for jobs. I applied for jobs, you know. But when the industry's slow, people were going to pretty much hire friends of friends and I wasn't in a big circle of friends you know because my whole life's about work I don't network I work you know I focus on my projects and everything so 
I wasn't always the one that was in the office bullshitting with people and getting to know more people, so it was harder for me, you know. It was like I almost had to rely on somebody that I knew closely and worked with closely to eventually find something. And one of my buddies came through. So, thanks, Roger. <laughs> Anyway, what else is new in this world? Let's talk about fucking Pokemon! <laughs> oh my god, that game is insane. I started playing it a day and a half ago. And I'm already on level 14. So. Oh, the dog's barking. The mail's already been here, so that's not bad news. Hopefully that's my, uh, my paperwork. And my drug test paperwork to get submitted. Because I really want to, like, as soon as I get out of the shower, I'm going to go check it and I'll be on my way to lab tour or wherever you got to go for that kind of stuff. I, I know I'll pass everything, so I was just hoping to get this drug test paperwork back now. That way I can drink tonight and not have to worry about anything. But if I get it tonight, or if, if I get it and I can't go to lab tour, then. I have to see if the lab course open tomorrow, and if the lab course open tomorrow, then I'm not going to drink tonight. And I really want to drink tonight with my family to celebrate. Although we celebrated all last week, <laughs> it was just I know that was the best vacation I've had. You know, just relaxing in the sun. I got burnt the first day because I was caking. Hawaiian Tropic Dark Tan Oil all over my body, which I've always done my whole life. And usually I'll burn the first time, but, you know, I burnt really good this time. And uh, I ended up wearing a shirt like the next two days, next two and a half days, actually. And then I think Wednesday I finally took the shirt off and started Dark, tan dark Tanning Oil on again. And I'm starting to peel. So I actually, uh, I just got out of the tanning bed here a little bit ago because I'm... I was using bronzer just to kind of darken myself, but I do get a lot of freckles whenever, uh, at least on my shoulders, whenever I get really nice and tan. And uh, I cut my hair today. This is the new style. This is the new mic. You know, this is the, the look I'm going with. I don't have to wear a hat all the time. You know, actually the dress code at the office is khakis and a polo, Mon Monday through Thursday, and then Friday is casual jean day, so. So that'll be nice um, and you know I'm not sure what kind of hours like the office is not eight to five um, but I was told you know if I get my hours my 40 hours in I could always leave early on Fridays like everybody else does so but my main focus is always gonna be on my project and you know making sure it's running smoothly because Work has always been my life, and I don't want it to necessarily be my whole life, you know, but the first the first two months, uh, I know I'm going to be, you know, balls to the wall, trying to learn everything, develop my own system, integrate with their system, and maybe even change their system a little bit, you know? Because I, I'm always, I'm a thinker, I'm a critical thinker. I like to think of the best, easiest, cheapest way to do things that's safe, obviously. And uh, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll just advance my career with this company. You know, they asked, what, they asked me in my interview, where do you see yourself in, you know, in the future? And I was like, well, 10 to 15 years, I see myself as a CEO of a company. You know, that's always been a dream of mine. You know, I want to. I want to be making three hundred thousand a year plus bonuses. You know, not that I need it, but I want to retire early. I do. It's like I'm forty now. I want to be retired by the time I'm fifty-five, and then I can just buy one of those motorhomes and just travel and hike and go to the beach. <laughs> And just enjoy life and not have to, to worry about things, you know, I'll, I'll probably never have kids, you know, but that's okay with me. Stephanie's got three and 
you know, they're awesome kids and, you know, I'll be a part of their life, so. Um, that's, for me, that's good enough. I'm still peeling. Ah, uh, I hate when I'm peeling. It's like I'm rubbing off all my good tan. <laughs> But I still got a tan underneath of it. It's just not as dark. That's why I jumped in the tanning bed. I was like, let me bronze up a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, this Pokemon game. Oh my God. I've been playing it like insane. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm driving around town. <laughs> Poke stops and getting my, you know, just getting my fairy dust and all that crap. Whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> I'm still not like fully vested into the game that I know everything about it yet, but I'm, I'm probably 75% right now because I learned a lot just last night playing it. So, that's my life. <laughs> right now it's Pokemon and getting ready to start a new job, you know. It probably won't be this Monday, but it'll for sure be the following Monday. So. Looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, we're pushing 16 and a half minutes now, and uh, I'm going to get off here so I can check check to see if that package came and then uh, try to get some stuff done. I may do another post tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'll try to start going some more, but, you know, it, I'm, I'm a busy man now, <laughs> you know. Try, besides packing, like, all my clothes and stuff that's all I'm taking is just clothes and then probably uh, my my portable grill and, and things like that that way if I want to cook and stuff instead of uh, eating out every day at least I can grill up something you know so I'm, I'm doing well I'm doing very well now <laughs> and I hope all of you are too I you know pray for everybody every day and Hope that, that you'll be as blessed as I feel right now. So, I love y'all and I'll uh, see you on the flip side. <laughs>